Hey friends, this is Chesney here. This is a bit of a different video as far as it is a tutorial to get Lands of Lore 2 Guardians of Destiny running on DOSBox. I had a request from Conrada20 to do so, uh, to rather to put a tutorial up as to how to get this to work since he's been having a little trouble with it. I don't blame him since it is a bit of a tricky process. Now, I had a bit of trouble recording my audio and visual together on this one, so I actually am doing the audio separately. So the video I'm about to show you goes a little quickly. I'm sorry that's so fast paced, but I, uh, I'm i going to try and make it as accessible as possible by putting uh, balloons up with the text as to what you need to be typing in. Now, before I start playing the footage, uh, it's you need to create, I mean, I'm just going to tell you like now, you need to create a folder. Uh, a blank folder, I mean, well, preferably a blank folder so that it's just easier to organize, but create a folder that you're going to put your your uh, that basically you're going to install Lands of Lore into. It can be any folder, doesn't matter where it is, just so no, just so long as you know what the pathing is to get to it. And this in this particular video, I just put it on my desktop since that was the most easily accessible. Now it doesn't matter what you name this folder, but it has to be one name, otherwise what I'm going to teach won't work. Now let's play the video here. As you can see here, I come in here, I've got my folder called DOS Games, and you need to go to DOSBox and access the DOSBox options. And you're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says Auto Execute, and what we're going to want to do here is mount our drives. Now, I my computer, it's C drive, of course, it's the C drive is the C drive, and the drive that you actually put the CD in is uh, drive E. Now, you'll see here, I'll put up the box here, you're going to mount the path, of the folder that you just created, uh, I created on my desktop, you're going to mount the path onto the C drive, and then you're going to mount your CD drive. Uh, now, as I stated before, my CD drive is uh, E, so I mounted it to E, and then you're going to run it, run it to, uh, to auto set you up into the C drive. Now, here, uh, I'm showing you how you're going to switch to the D drive by typing in D colon slash and then you're going to want to run the setup. I kind of goof it up here. But you're going to want to uh, run the setup program. If you don't really know how to use DOS, like I said, I'm going to have text, text balloons here as to what you're going to want to do. But it's going to run the installation. You're just going to install it like normal. And I had a little bit of a snafu here. I tried to install it, and then I alt-tabbed off of it, which caused it to... Uh, let's just fast forward a little bit here. It caused it to crash. I jumped back into it, uh, ran the installation again, and it worked just fine all the way up until the very end. And it loads here, and now what you're going to want to do is you notice the graphics are terrible. So you want to go to your options, raise the audio channels to 16, raise the audio from my die to digital, and then you're going to want to go into your video options, raise the cache to large and the graphics texture quality to highest and there you have it you'll have your game running just like it should um, if you want to go full screen just push alt enter now in order to get back into the game uh, once you've actually uh, once you've actually shut it down because you notice it auto ran so you're like well how do I get back into it if I'm just running DOSBox up and not installing the game well you're going to want to go to DOSBox type in CD Westwood CD LOLG and then just type in LOLG and that's going to run your game uh, once again I'm going to have to fast forward here to get to it because had a bit of a trouble I don't know if it was because I was trying to record what I was doing and DOSBox didn't like that or if because I I'm not sure what happened I went in messed with the setup uh, but got it to run again. And like I said, all you do is just CD Westwood, CD LOLG, and then LOLG. And there you have it. Um, I know this wasn't the most best put together tutorial, so please you know, feel free to post questions or if you have a specific problem or you want to know how to do a certain thing uh, as far as the setup goes, you know, feel free to shoot me your questions. I'll try and answer them the best I can. So there you have it, Lands of Lord 2. Enjoy.